early marriages, teenage pregnancies, discrimination against women and people with disabilities, and lack of access to quality healthcare are among the major challenges facing marginalized communities in Kenya. This has been catalyzed by ignorance and lack of active participation of women, youth, and people living with disabilities in matters of county governance. Atu kujua vile structure ya devolution vile inawak na budget yao. Kwa mbeze tatu before tupata ambulance, tulipotesa watoto nani. Tulikuwa tunachua tu mtoto msichana haki mea tu titi hivi, ya ye ni mwanamuke ya mtu. Hata wale mafu wengi wa kusoma. Askari walikuwa na tuarasi kwa hii parabara yetu hii. Lakini mimi kama chama, siku kwa naweza kuangea na hao wakubwa kama OCDD, kama OCS. To reverse the trend, Rural Women Peace Link came with a one-year program dubbed Sauti Yangu, Nguvu Yangu. The overall goal of the project was to enhance the capacity of women, youth and persons living with disability in order for them to participate and engage in governance processes within the county level and also in leadership and decision making within the county government and also at the household level. The first objective was to enhance their capacity in order for them to participate in county, make, county processes such as the county budget process and also in participating and engaging in the public participation which are also hold at the ward level for them also to participate not just to rubber stamp issues and discussion but also to give meaningful feedback also in these processes. The project targeted marginalized groups of women, youths, minority communities, and people living with disabilities in Bungoma, West Pokot, and Nandi counties. Uh, wakati tulipo kuwa tukifanya uh, assessment yetu, tukaelewa ya kwamba kulikuwa na itaji ya kuweza kuleta jamii hawa pamoja ili waweze kuelewa na kujua jinsi maisha uh, ya watu ambao wanahitaji msaada kupitia watu wengine inavyotekelezwa Deep inside Kopsiro village in Chepuk ward within Mount Elgon sub county residents have for a long time tolerated poor services from the only available health facility They suffered in silence and watched helplessly as expectant mothers either lost their lives or that of their infants for lack of oxygen support machine or an ambulance for referrals. Kwa miezi tatu before tupate ambulance tulipoteza watoto nane. Ni one December wanazaliwa. Na hawa watoto walikuwa wengi. Ongeza kusaidiwa kama gari ingekuepo. Anatoka mbali 50 kilometers from here to 70. Na nyumbani ujue mkunga amejaribu ameshindwa. Sasa anasema mbeleka wapi? Hospitali. Kufika hapa tunangoja gari tena. Kopsiro is more than 40 kilometers away from Bungoma town, which is the county headquarters and the rough terrain with roads that virtually become impassable during the rainy seasons added to their plight. But a new dawn is sweeping through Kopsiro region within Chabiuk ward, courtesy of Sauti Yangu Nguvu Yangu project. The project initiated a series of sensitization meetings to empower the residents on how to write and submit memos and proposals to the county government in order to seek for what is rightfully theirs. Armed with the newly gained knowledge, community members through a women's group forwarded their memo to county's health minister, demanding a change at the health facility. These fully-fledged ambulance and additional personnel to the facility are a clear proof of the power of their voice. Saizi, gari go standby, driver go standby. Like now, in the morning, leo ni kapigio zimu. Tuko, anaito mawe? Kona mawe? Kona maiti. Mama njeu ya melala kwa parapara, ameshindwa kutembea. The driver lianda kamuchuku. Na tunaenda na team, wanaenda. Kama mama hako ready, watamzalisha. But halukuja kajifungulia. Watoto hako safe, mama hako safe. Wakati nilireport kwa psiro. Hako kwa na wakonjo. 
In fact, uh, you can see only maybe around 10 patients kosiku. But saizi, nesa wana tawa gonjwa mia kosiku. Kutupata haya mafunzo, kulingana na vile waliandika na wakafatilia, tukapewa ile gari ambulance, hii hospitali yetu maafa, asa wa mama kujifungua, imepungua. Nisha pokea memorandum ine, kutoka kwa jamii, kikundi cha kina mama, kikundi cha wale watu wanaoishi na ulemavu, kikundi cha vijana na jamii kwa jumla. Pia na matumaini ya kwamba waziri wa afya alipopata hiyo referent memorandum aliweza kunongonezea governor wetu na tunapoongea saa hizi ambulance ishafika watu wetu wanapata huduma ya rifaro na kuokoa maisha kule mashinani. Memoranda hizo zote nina uhakika ya kwamba ilitokana na ile mafunzo ambayo shirika hili yes, ya Rural Women Peace Link kupitia kwa mradi wa sauti yangu nguvu yangu ilipea wananchi. In Kabiet Surungai ward within Mosop sub county of Nandi, residents had faced similar health challenges before the intervention of the Sauti Yangu Nguvu Yangu project. Now this program has really helped us so that uh, there were so many projects which were bending. Like in my uh, location, uh, there were so many dispensaries. And when we had this meeting, I think the beginning of the year, uh, the dispensaries were not yet open, but now at least I can see they are working. Um, the main issues which were raised uh, from the community were the services which are being offered at the facility level. Uh, one was the maternity, two was the availability of water and um, electricity, three was the number of staff which were in the facility. Um, these were issues which as a department we have been facing and it was a good thing that the Nguvuyangu, uh, Sautiangu, Nguvuyangu project were able to uh, pick the same issue uh, from the community. Um, so far there, are, there is a, B, a report on the same and uh, we are analyzing it and uh, solving each of those uh, problems one by one. Some will be done immediately, some will be done uh, within one year, others will at long term. Uh, long term <coughs> projects which may need uh, further budgeting and planning. In some communities, strong cultural beliefs and stereotypes had greatly contributed towards the stigmatization of women and people living with disability, thereby depriving them of participating in county government process as well as seeking leadership roles. This perception is gradually changing thanks to Sauti Yangu nguvu yangu project sisi kina mama hatukuwa tunajua kweli tuko na sauti lakini vile tumefundishwa na ma e rural women peace tumepata kujua ya kwamba sisi kina mama tunaweza kuwa na sauti moja kama kuna miradi ya public participation tumejitolea tumeandika memorandum watu wanaoishi na ulemafu katika cheptai sub county wako wengi na wamefichwa kwa family ya Pokot mwanamke angeweza kuongea hapo awali lakini kwa saa hizi we can talk maendeleo kubwa sana inaendelea aswa upande wa chaparere au manisa chief na alichange kila kitu kuna wasichana kama rural women peace ni tulifuatilia na alikuwa watoto wa shule juice walifu, wakati walifunga shule they were ready to go for fgm but due to this sensation of haki yangu na nguvu yangu they could not go mama yetu hapo kwa alikuwa tujia hata katiba ya Kenya Atu kusoma na atujui. Lakini ukipata sayo wa mama huko machinani. Chifa kiambia nyi wa mama munta kuongea kama nani. Wanarukia hiyo katiba ya kina mama ya UN. Hiyo resolution ya 1325. Nasema hiyo ndio, hiyo ndio pila yetu ya kina mama ya dunia. To win confidence and realize intended objectives, the project officers worked closely with local leaders. Watu wangu wamelemishwa wanachua maana ya 
public participation through public participation wa mechua haki sawa sasa for now people they don't need they don't need to be to be bushed kasi yangu imekuwa rahisi sana kwa boss watu wanachua haki sawa apart from being a chief watu wanachua what wanachua what 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 is to go on there was this issue of there was a, before that there was this rampant rampant defilement in the area and you know these people they came they educated women differently they educated uh, young people they educated older men so as a that one there was a very great positive impact we so kupata sahi wase ate wanasungumza ku kufanya kufanya hii kesi ya nini ya rap ama defilement wanajua kuna watu wanasema sauti yangu nguvu yangu hiyo inaenda direct baka kwa OCS uh, this ya yeah, sauti yangu nguvu yangu has really helped me as a ward administrator was one my role as a ward administrator is mobilizing the public or sensitizing the public on the issue of the uh, public participation which uh, the officer who was in for the women rural women bustling we have been working harmoniously mobilizing the public and telling them their right as i'm talking mimi nikiwa chief ya huko i think uh, i was the first chief to exercise uh, a women leader in in administration i ensured there was an assistant chief appointed a female na akawa assistant chief and before I, I exited i ensured she was elevated to a chief as we are talking we have a, a woman chief who came after me but like any other projects these two encountered some challenges ranging from infrastructural ones that were far much beyond the control of the project implementers this made it hard for program implementers to reach the target groups in time sometimes forcing them to use more days than that which they had previously planned for we've not covered other areas and they feel like they should also uh, be empowered and trained so that they can have the capacity of helping other people to understand the importance of taking care of uh, uh, people living with disabilities and also the community at large as the program came to a close one thing became clear that more marginalized communities were in need of such programs having seen the impact it had created in target project areas with this one now being at the beginning we would wish if rural women peace link could get funding to to move to other areas so that it could be more i mean it could be going higher and higher and higher so I think that is what I believe. Um, South Yangu Yangu for me is one one thing which people need in this in this county and maybe elsewhere. Napo Rudi mutatusaidia pia kupeana hawa maoni kwa welwisha si wetu kwamba hiyo program ilikuwa ni mzuri na inahitajika. The medium term impact of the project is a clear testimony of how helpless marginalized communities can bring about meaningful transformation in their lives if equipped with relevant information. Hata nakumbuka wakati mwingine wakanichagua kwa shule na kuwa kama komiti ya shule lakini nilikataa kabisa. Nikasema sasa mimi nitakaja hapo mbele. Watu wataniona sasa. Tena nitatembeaje mbele ya watu mpaka nifikie huko lakini venye hii sauti yangu ilifika tu ya Januari na wakachagua kamati ya shule nikajipata ni kondani wakanipigia simu hata si kwa huko nipenda kesa tu lakini nikakubaliana sababu sasa nilikuwa ninajua kumbe mimi pia nina haki licha ya changamoto ya kimaumbile pia mimi naweza fanya kazi na naweza kuwa kiongozi so the youths are now taking up the position and I can say that through rural women peacefully, it's achievement whereby uh, we have now two circles being formed in Masof Sub County, one in Kabiet and one in Kaiboy. Also, uh, they have registered the circle. They are now benefiting in affirmative action. Sao yangu,